Welcome to my tutorial of Absolute Lair Phase 5 for Master Ninja I'm doing a no heal scoring run. And um, this mission took me about four hours to complete while when playing it again recently. I had done all this back when the game was current many years ago. Um, as I exceeded 40 million in the mission mode, which was a, uh, a huge task at the time. And now this mission took me about four hours. I remember Alma 2 on Master Ninja took me about, well, I estimate probably at least 20 hours. That's just a, 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 a really fast estimate, but um, it was insane uh, to do it with no healing on Master Ninja. Um, so it can get a lot worse. But yeah, the main technique here is to use that right corner, it seems to help with dodging that, that electric fireball at the right time. And for the fire rings, you know, you have to jump so that you go between the rings. So you have different timings going on that you have to do. If the, if the electric ball comes out, you have to roll at the right time. It's very precise timing. The rings, you have to jump at a very precise time, just a straight up jump. So the main thing here is to use that right corner. It seems to help with dodging that electric ball. So, you know, roll in that corner to try to dodge that electric ball. Jump when the rings come out. And aside from that, you also have to hope that the enemies cooperate with you because for this technique, you're going to be charging only ultimate techniques. You're not going to use any regular attacks. That's to try to get as many points as possible. And if you can, you want to try to get fully charged ultimate techniques, which are two charge attacks. But um, you're probably mostly only going to get single charge, unless you have a better technique. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did here. And like I said, it took four hours to get this result. So it's definitely, it, it's hard to get everything to cooperate with you like this. There's definitely a lot of luck too, and you know, just skill of getting used to, to being able to do this. And you know, for those enemies, you can just use ultimate technique to wipe out all these enemies. Of course, using the weapon, I'm using the double harrow we weapon. And that's pretty much it. You're pretty much just going to be trying to get as many ultimate techniques as possible. And um, hopefully you won't get in any impossible scenarios. I made a playlist called Impossible Scenarios, and that shows some situations where I believe there's no way out and you just have to die. And that's kind of just the nature of the brutality of this mode. It's really, it's almost like these sequences are kind of like untested modes because they're not even in the story mode. You just get the most insane situations in mission mode. And to try to do that for scoring means no healing, no magic use, and, uh, you, know, ulti you know, a lot of times farming ultimate techniques for very long periods of time with the weakest weapon and doing a lot of crazy shit like that. It's, you know, really brutal when going for points. But, yeah, that concludes the tutorial for this mission. Let me know if you're interested in seeing any more missions. I'll maybe do a tutorial on some of the other ones. This is the hardest one I've done so far since I've been back playing the game. But um, I'm going to probably play the game again soon and try to see if I can do some more missions. And um, I, I'm always open to requests, so let me know if you'd like any um, tutorials on the other missions I did or anything else on the channel. And thanks for watching.